As you know, in the Boise Valley, we have mountains that are all around us, and they have a big effect on our weather. Now, let me just show you one example here. Winter storms are important to southern Idaho. Storms fill our reservoirs with water for next summer. And remember this, meteorologists are especially always looking for these wet storms that are moving up from the south. These southerly storms provide rain and snow, but especially heavy snow in the mountains. Definitely what we're looking for. However, topography can have an effect on our Treasure Valley weather because we have mountains that are all around us. And the mountains affect the weather to such an extent that you may wonder, what happened to the storm I heard about in the forecast? The phenomenon is known as the rain shadow effect. Let's illustrate. When storms come in over the mountains, the storm lifts and intensifies, providing plenty of rain and snow for the mountains. Yet the same storm can be tricky. When the storm arrives over the Treasure Valley from the south, it can change because of the Owyhee Mountains. How so? The same southerly storm rises on the south side of the Owyhees, cools and condenses, causing plenty of snowfall on the south side of the mountains. When the same wet air falls on the north side into the Treasure Valley, the weather begins to change. As the wet southerly air advances and falls on the north side of the mountain, the falling air begins to dry in the shadow of the mountains. This is known as the rain shadow effect. This rain shadow effect is responsible for large storms weakening as they head into the Treasure Valley from the south, leaving the valley dry. But remember, the mountains will still be getting the snow even though the valley may seem to be cheated from getting the rain and snow that it needs. But always keep in mind that when we're getting good snow in some of the mountains, that melting snow in the springtime is good for the reservoirs. Now, you know, uh, other areas take claim to different things, like mm -hmm. for instance, Salt Lake City has the lake effect. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, lake effect snow. <laughs> right. You know, around here we'd say, so what really guides our, our weather? Well, when the weather gets on the uh, on the shadow side of the mountain, it can weaken. Not all storms, but mm -hmm. they do. And really, that's what makes them so responsible sometimes when uh, we give a big forecast. It's a big storm. It is a big storm, but sometimes it can weaken just because of the local topography. Is that also the reason that sometimes Brundage, we report, has 10 inches, but yeah. Bogus only got four and uh, Sun Valley got two? I got to two. tell you, yeah, Brundage is in the best position because they're a west-facing slope. Mm -hmm. So when the storm comes in, it goes up and it develops the snow. Uh, of course, all of our resorts get pretty good snow, but that's probably in the best position, and that's likely why they get the most. Interesting. All right, we're back with sports right after this.